Can we get Steve a microphone? I apologize, Amy. Steve, I, I, I had an Apple II GS with his signature on it as a child. So this is sort of a very cool thing to have you here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Is this microphone working? <laughs> it is working. How are I you I was doing? joking. Uh, I'm doing great. What are you doing here? Uh, let's see. What am I doing here? I'm actually, um, I do public speaking now, and I'm speaking for NBC Universal and visiting them. And Fabulous. Some great people, yes. Ringing the opening bell. Steve, I was just telling Linda Yaccarino, uh, sorry, sorry, Becky Quick, nice to see you. I was just telling her that you were. You're going to interview Becky now. Look at this. Great, great ratings for us in the 6 a.m. when we oh. could never get anybody in the 6 a.m. You came on and everything took off. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I hear things like that a lot. But Steve, since I'm you're not... here and I, we've just so rudely interrupted Amy, who, who's our guest, but you've just become our guest. Chat GPT, we've been talking about it all day and morning and week and month now. As the great interviewer sure. that you are, I've, is I've, it game changing I've, or not? I've spent um, an entire lifetime really studying brain, computers, the, the computer will never equal the brain. We don't know how the brain is wired. I, uh, gradu I, I was a psychology major when I took my final year of college to get my degree. And um, we don't know where our memories are. We don't know that they're in the brain. We know the processing centers are in the brain. Right. We just don't know the memories. A lot of these things, so I was very negative at first on any, um, uh, I don't know, any human made technology being equivalent to nature. Um, so it'll never be equal to, um, I mean, good Lord, look at a lot of AI examples where you drive a car and try to make decisions the dumbest driver in the world wouldn't make. Right. But now chat GPT, it's just so, um, I don't know, it's just kind of imp imp so impressive. But, you know, when a, a machine could beat a human at chess, we said the same sort of things. Oh, my gosh, it's so smart, you know. And it's just, but it's just following different methods that a brain follows. So you different never be able to, so it will, But, you know, we want a humanist that has some emotion and feeling about things and, you know, about subjects. You can really get turned on to them certain ways. It's still going to be a while, I think. Yeah, it's still going to be a while before we, we He just we wants to be better than Siri. So, so I think, I just want I think it's going to be useful, to useful to humans thought. as all, all computer technology. AI is the high end of it, where it follows procedures to learn things. You know, you can scan, if you can scan things, you know, a billion times a second, no human could ever come close to memorizing what you can. Yep. And then, you know, and given instructions of how to go, you know, we, we go and we borrow things that are online for it to go look online, right. find out what fits the category of the, the keywords. Right. Um, it's pretty impressive, but the trouble is it does good things for us, but it can make horrible right. mistakes by not knowing what humanness is. I mean, it's just like if you're right. driving a car, you know, and you know what other cars might be about to do right now because you know humans. Right.